Hey, Boy Manning here. Welcome to the Garden Report on the ground in Milwaukee. We got a good one tonight. Celtics Bucks, just about a game and a half separating these two teams. Bucks coming in winners of 10 straight, making up tons of ground on the Celtics, who have won enough to stay in that pole position pretty much all season to this point. Bucks right there went through their offensive lull right around the same time the Celtics did, which gave Boston some breathing room. Uh, but this isn't going to be the fully loaded version of these teams. We'll probably see face off in the postseason at some point. Uh, massive injury report coming into this one for the Celtics. Jalen Brown got custom fitted for that mask yesterday. You saw in Marcus Smart's story him trying it on. Not going to go here. Uh, All star game still in question, so I'd imagine tomorrow's game against Detroit not a go as well. Marcus Smart just a couple of days ago getting on the court for the first time uh, since that ankle injury. He's out again. I would not imagine he's going to go tomorrow. And then Malcolm Brogdon missing last game with the Achilles. Uh, pain still on the injury report, probable. Uh, we'll see what happens there. He was probable before last game as well, the win over uh, uh, Memphis. So add Jason Tatum again, non-COVID illness, uh, who was on there a couple times last week with that. He is doubtful to go against Giannis and company here. And then Robert Williams, that ankle that slowed him questionable and Grant Williams added as well with an elbow injury right elbow injury questionable as well so who's going to go for the Celtics here you're talking Derek White the NBA player of the week in the east as well as Peyton Pritchard who will probably get a nice 40 minute game here he's wanting to play more so good opportunity for him to impact the team Blake Griffin Luke Cornett at center uh, along with Al Horford who will probably sit tomorrow himself and then in between Mike Mascala and who knows, maybe even some G League guys getting a shot over the last couple of games here into the break where it's going to be a big rest period for the Celtics who have gotten banged up, who have played through injuries and not had many opportunities for rest in this tight conference. A tough game to pass up on if that's what the Celtics are going to be doing here for the sake of rest. Uh, but they already have a game in hand on Milwaukee from that big Christmas win and later this month they'll play here again. Uh, and break that tie, try to position themselves further for uh, the top seed, which I do think is going to be important. The lower end of that playing tournament probably isn't going to be very good. There could be a sneaky good team in that seven spot for whoever falls to that, though both the Celtics and Bucks, neither one of them should be uh, in position to lose that series. So not ginormous stakes here for this one, though. I'm still interested to see how the Celtics guard Giannis, who's averaging 37 points per game here. Not going to have their main pieces to do it if Grant, Rob are out, though Al Horford has been so effective against him in the past. Uh, they'll have to do it by committee. I'm sure they'll be targeting guys like Peyton Pritchard, Derek White. Uh, so the Celtics are going to really have their hands full here for sure. No Jay Crowder, though, for the Bucks, who continues to work out this morning at here at Bucks Shootaround, uh, as well as in practice yesterday. Not quite ready conditioning after the layoff. Didn't get to play with a couple college teams I saw. Uh, he said, per Eric name of the athletic, uh, they had a decline due to fear of injury. He missed the entire start to the season with the Suns. Uh, sitting out for reasons he still doesn't want to reveal. Uh, just some internal issues with the team. Moved on for five second round picks after getting traded to the Nets in the Kevin Durant deal. Bucks pick him up. Keep Grayson Allen who was relieved today that he didn't have to leave this team, this uh, contending team that he's been on for a couple years now, former teammate of Jason Tatum's. Talk to him a little bit about Tatum, who's going to be shooting the three-point contest. Uh, just 35% this year, not among the more efficient players from three in the league, though he's made top 10 total, uh, and the high volume has obviously put him at 30 points per game. That was what he's been doing to start this season. Uh, I'll be interested to see how that shot looks in that contest. I wrote a little bit about that for Boston Sports Journal earlier this week, why those numbers are down for him and Jalen in particular, who talked about that this week or a week ago, I guess now. Uh, the volume is the big reason Joe Missoula points to there. So Tatum's going to have a chance to contend with those guys in that contest, playing the game, and maybe get some extra rest as well if he's going to miss tomorrow as well. We'll have all your coverage here from Milwaukee, including who's out, who's in, who's on the court before this game. 
and how Tatum's looking from the three-point line going into this contest. Did forget to ask Grayson whether he thinks Tatum has a chance to win it. But some good insight and memories from his time at Duke playing together with him there. You can check that out again on CLNS Media. All the post-game reactions will be there as well tonight. Celtics post-game with Jimmy and Joe Sway, a special Valentine's edition coming to you here uh, from Milwaukee. And uh, Celtics All Access for more reports. We're brought to you by HelloFresh. HelloFresh.com slash Garden65 is going to get you 65% off your order. Great gift for Valentine's Day. You can get it in late. Uh, say that the mail was delayed and have a nice customized order to cook for your significant other next week. All the instructions and prepackaged ingredients are there. That's HelloFresh.com slash Garden65. It is fresh. It is to your door. It is on ice. So that's HelloFresh.com slash 65. Uh, at Athletic Greens as well, a great gift. They've thrown five travel packs as well. You could even use those as your gift alone, uh, though I'd give them the whole package, uh, the storage container, the bottle, as well as the great powder with vitamins, minerals, adaptogens, probiotics, and more in Athletic Greens. Head over there, athleticgreens.com slash garden. See if it's for you. Five free travel packs as well as a year's supply of immune-boosting vitamin D when you head over there. Uh, no Jay Crowder, Jason Tatum, doubtful though he will be shooting in the three-point contest this weekend at All-Star in Utah. For now, Celtics Bucks getting started at 7.30 tonight on TNT. Come join us for all the reaction after. Should still be a good game despite these absences and injuries involved. Giannis, probable. Pat Connaughton, probable for the Bucks as well, who are just going to be missing their new addition. Uh, former Celtic Jay Crowder, who's making an impression already here in Milwaukee. I'm Bobby Manning, right from their practice facility here, across the street from Fiserv Forum. And we will talk to you later this afternoon.